नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू कुशीराज किचन इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू ऑल हाउ आई मेक छोले भटूरे छोले भटूरे इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर पंजाबी डिश लाइक ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ओवर द इंडिया छोले स्टैंड फॉर अ स्पाइस टैंगी चिक पिकारी एंड भटूरे इज अ सॉफ्ट एंड फ्लफी फ्राइड ब्रेड मेड अप ऑफ ऑल पर्पज फ्लार दैट इज मैदा But I'm going to make bhature out of whole wheat flour. So let's start. Here I have taken two cups of whole wheat atta. In this, I'm going to add half a cup of yogurt, one teaspoon sugar, half a teaspoon salt, or as per the taste, and one fourth cup of semolina that is suji. Now mix all the ingredients very well. Now near dough same as chapati dough, not too soft, not too hard. Here I have kneaded the dough into a soft dough. Now add a teaspoon of oil to the dough and give it a quick knead. Adding suji to the dough will keep your batura crispy and fluffy. Now let's cover the dough and let it rest for an hour. Till that time, we'll prepare our chole. Here I have taken two hundred gram of chickpeas, washed and soaked it in water for overnight. Here I have prepared black tea water by half a teaspoon of tea dust. Black tea water helps to darken the chickpeas. It gives very nice, beautiful color to the chickpeas. Now in a pressure cooker, add soaked chickpeas, two bay leaves, one big cardamom, two cloves, one inch cinnamon stick, four to five peppercorns, half a teaspoon carom seed, two small cardamoms, and four to five garlic cloves. Add black tea water and salt as per the taste. Now add water two to three inch above chickpea. Mix well and pressure cook for four to five whistles on a medium flame. Now let's prepare the masala for the gravy. For that we need two medium size onion grinded into a fine paste, two to three medium size tomatoes grinded into a puree, two to three green chilies cut into half. 1 tablespoon coriander powder 1 tablespoon red chili powder 1 teaspoon jeera powder half a teaspoon amchur powder and a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste 1 teaspoon garam masala powder handful of coriander leaves 1 teaspoon fenugreek leaves 3 tablespoon of oil and salt as per the taste now let's heat up the pan add 3 tablespoon of oil Now add onion paste and cook until it's nice golden brown in color. Here our onion is nice golden brown in color. Now let's add ginger garlic paste and saute for one to two minutes. Now add tomato puree and salt as per the taste. and cook on a low medium flame for 2 to 3 minutes here the tomato puree is cooked well now add green chilies and all the powdered spices except garam masala give it a quick mix now add bit of water to the masala and cook on a medium flame for 2 to 3 minutes Masala is cooked. Now let's add the cooked chole along with its water and mix well. At this point, you can adjust the consistency of the curry. You can reduce or increase the amount of water depend on how thick or thin you want your gravy to be. Add garam masala. 
add kasuri methi that is dry fenugreek leaves and add coriander leaves and give it a quick mix and let's cover and cook on a low medium flame for 2 to 3 minutes now let's check the chole wow the fragrance of the masala is so tempting and here our flavorful chole is ready to be served let's transfer it into a bowl and now let's prepare for the bhaturas here our dough was nicely rested give it a quick knead to the dough and shape the dough into a small round ball now apply a bit of dry flour to the dough and roll them out into a oval shape or round shape of your choice and roll them out into a medium thick bhaturas not too thin not too thick here in a kadai oil is heated to check if the oil is ready drop the tiny ball of dough into the hot oil and if it is rises to the surface right away means the oil is ready for frying now let's fry the bhatura Fry the bhatura on both side until get nice golden brown in color and push the bhatura with the frying spoon downwards to fluff up nicely. Here our bhatura is ready. Let's transfer into a tissue paper. Now same way I will fry all the bhaturas. And here our bhaturas are ready to be served. Let's do the plating. Friends, make this Punjabi style chole bhature. It's delicious. And share your experience in the comment box below. If you like this recipe, do give a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.